Don't give up. Just hold on tight. It'll be alright. Hello. Hello, Fala. Hello, Van Vida. Um, so, I had a lot of people watch that video already. A lot of people are interested in the network. So, um, we'll go over that um, a little more. We'll talk about it a little more um, while you guys are here in chat. Hello, Melnetti. Um, so we'll be talking about that more while you guys are here. And um, going to tell you I have the date that I'm going to be starting on the minivan. So that's exciting. Um, <clears throat> I already have some people um, that have experience doing other stuff that are going to help get stuff set up for the network. Um, so I have Sherry over at RV Weekends. Is going to help me organize um, the schedule. It's also going to help me because um, they have experience setting up and running businesses. So I'm going to get help in doing that and crafting the business plan. Um, and so any of you guys that are in now and any help that you give or whatever, I want to um, have you, um, you know, be part, be part owners in the network we create. Um, so that you have ownership in it as well. And I want, you know, everybody to kind of um, agree. We'll probably have like votes or whatever once we get it going, once it's established. Because there's a lot of steps we have to do. We have to make, you know, basically set up a business plan, set up a corporation, and um, get enough channels together that want to be part of it. And then we go to YouTube and apply to be a partnership of a MCM, MCN there at YouTube. So there's a lot of steps that we have to go through to get there, um, but we can do it. And if you're not live and you just do videos, that's fine too. Because um, if nothing else, if we have time where there won't be a live on that main network channel, we can play other people's videos on there as well. And their uploads will be going on there as well, too, um, not just the lives. So I've already got people interested that, you know, of varying subscriber levels. That's not the key to this. The key to this is to we want to have people that have good content that are always going to be producing content because we want our, um, our um, network to always be doing something. So... Um, if I don't see you guys right away, I'm only using the phone right now because um, I have to wait till I get the hotspot in it. I'd have to set up all the way up in the front. And then even then, the tablet doesn't connect to the Wi-Fi so good. So once I get the plan upgraded and stuff, I will do that. Hello, Full-Time Dream. Hello, RV Ashes. Hello, Wade Outdoors. Oh, man, it's all right. It's all right. This is just kind of to explain to people what's going on um, with setting the net network up and um what i want to do there so i've already got a few people involved in it we're getting the background stuff set up but if you want to be in it um send me an email we're still in the planning stages so we're still getting set up when everybody would be live um if they do lives or setting up um if they just do videos um hello willow grow yo conerman hello farmer brad um, so what I want to do is, is set it up so that it's um, run by YouTubers. It's going to be for YouTubers. It's not going to just be a, uh, a strictly um, business part. But I wanted to set up the business part um, and do this multi-content network so that all of us that are creators can then concentrate on creating. So we don't have to go and worry about you know, figuring out... Um, emails to write companies or, or to all that kind of stuff. We'll try as a network that nothing stops you from doing that as your own channel and stuff as well. But as a network, try to go out there and, and do sales calls to these companies to get sponsorships. Um, and the more varied of a channel that we have, 
where it's not just RVers, not just homesteaders, whatever. It's a more varied sponsor list so that we can get, but also then any sponsors that come to us, we can also direct them into a certain niche as well. So um, that that's the goal with that is to get people and and do the background work. Um, yeah, and that's what I do too. And that's the thing is, instead of all of us spending our time sending out um, messages, spending our time doing that, I want to get a network built out that the network is then sending messages to companies and everything. Um, so, um, yeah, exactly. And the stuff like that. So I want to, I want to kind of set up the network so that even if our channels are smaller, the network will be a larger number of available audience. It will open us up to more sponsorship uh, availabilities. Um, and with that, that's why I want everybody to stay positive and, I'm not going to have membership for a while, so I do have this set up. So if you don't want to donate and you just want to join Patreon and have your ads, or not your ads, but have your, have your link run during um, the live streams um, instead of donating, if you just want to do a once a month thing, I've got that set up too. Um, and there are some other benefits on the Patreon because I'm not sure when members will come on YouTube. And I heard 10,000 people, so it may be a while before I get there. So I wanted to have that as a way to start for you guys um, if you join Patreon. But anyway, um, the other part about having this network is um, everybody needs to stay positive towards um, other channels on this network. Um, if you don't agree with something they're doing, uh, whether it's in their videos or whatever, you keep it behind the scenes message between those two channels. You don't come into their chat and, and bring up problems. You don't put it on your live stream and bring up problems or on your videos and all that kind of stuff. We're all trying to build this into a successful business. So if you're tearing other people down, it not only makes it, you can say, Oh, it makes that person look bad that I'm tearing down, but it also makes everybody look bad. Um, cause they might be doing some of the same stuff that somebody else is. And while you might be going after that one person, it makes it feel like you're going after all the people that do that. Um, and so I want to avoid that in this, it's going to be, you know, I want everybody to be positive. Um, w especially with other channels. I mean, you're going to be negative in your life. You're going to have negatives or whatever. That's fine. Um, and you can share all that, but. I want this to be a network of people that are trying to help each other and trying to help each other succeed in this as not just their hobby, but as they're, as they're um, turning it from a hobby into a business and wanting to be successful and being a content creator period. Um, so that's why I want to start this. That's why I wanted to restart the schedule um and everything else so i've got people that are already on board we're not going to officially start a schedule or a launch i'm probably not going to do that until um september i want to get enough time to if you're interested to get you in here and do this um and get it all figured out and we'll get our schedules figured out um hello thomas jordan um Hello, Ramblin' Rebel, Lost uh, Highway Music. Let me tell you, man, you're you, you got a good voice for singing, and and your songs seem kind of interesting. Hello, Susan Hare. Hello, um, hey, Epic, I Weibel. Um, and so, Epic's um, in part of it too. I'm going to have him kind of. Um, we're going to kind of figure out a back end system. Cause we need to get some sort of way for creators to log in and keep track of things. Um, and, uh, have a forum so we can all communicate with each other. Cause not everybody has Facebook. Not everybody has this. Not everybody has that. Uh, but we all know how to use a browser. So I want to get some sort of forum set up 
so that we can all discuss things and go over things and how things work, answer questions, and have that kind of be where we take care of stuff um, if anybody has tr problems with each other. So the network is, is going to be for all of us to become better creators um, and all of us that have a shared common goal of wanting to be successful on YouTube. Um, and so, like I said in the video, I, if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna play along with these rules and you don't want to, and you don't want to do it, that's fine. But then you also won't be in the network. You know, I want this to be a place where people can come and say, um, Lady Ramon Rebel, thank you for being here, man. Um, have it be a place where if you're a creator, you're going to be able to come and um, it, if you get put on the schedule and and that's the thing we're going to have to look at as we get bigger. Um, I want you to have quality stuff more than, more than I'm concerned with your numbers, if that makes sense. Um, I want you to have some experience on YouTube um, and all that kind of stuff. I don't want you to just be a new channel and be coming in. Um, uh, hey, man, look, look, I, I f find fun in that. And you didn't do anything. You didn't do anything bad, man. Don't worry about that. Um, but that's what I that's what I want this to become um, is. A big family network, just like we're, just like um, a lot of us have already been doing, already been helping each other out, already been, you know, a lot of us working with charities, a lot of us, all those kind of things. And I wanted to continue. And I think a lot of people don't understand the reason that a lot of us want to monetize and make money at this, not just for a business for ourselves, but those of us that are working with charities. It allows us to give more to those charities and help more of them out. So that's what the whole point of this is. You know, um, if it's if it's just going to be a hobby forever for you and that's all you want it to be, that's cool. Um, but I want to help the people that really want to start pushing for the people that want to be monetized, the people that want to turn this into a business that people that want to be successful at it. Um, because for me, this isn't once I have the possibility of where I can get monetized, it's not something that's just, just a hobby for me anymore, or just um, something that is a quick um, thing or it's a fun thing. And, and, Whatever happens, happens. Um, I, I've shifted gears in that. And so as part of that, I want people to have the opportunity to also, you know, if that's what you want, to come along. Um, so, um, yeah, and Weibull, that's the thing is, um, you don't have to go live. I, I want people, I want people that also just create videos. Because um, when I create that network channel, if we don't have anybody on live, I also want to have it run a playlist of people's videos for whatever time between between um, lives is for people that aren't doing live. Um, but I like enough content um, where we can fill 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, so there's going to be need for people that, you know, are able to go live, you know, what would be considered overnight hours for a lot of us here, um, overseas isn't overnight hours. So that's why it's going to be opened up to more than just a couple creators. Um, yeah. And um, so this is this is basically just it's a it's a next step. It's not 
it's not anything against people that only want to do this as a hobby, but people that want to do this as a, as a business. Um, I want to take us to the next level. You know, I want us all to, we've already been helping each other. A lot of us to get to where we're point where we're monetized. There's no reason to still not help each other. And let's make this um, business part of it even better for all of us. Instead of each of us approaching a company individually, we approach them as a group, which is a larger, you know, larger views, larger audience, larger everything. Um, it makes it easier for all of us. And hello, Burning Out the Roads. Hello, Aaron Jimison. Um, so, That's why I wanted to create this. Um, and I've been thinking about this for a while. Um, and recent events just forced me to do it sooner, reveal it sooner, and get going on it sooner. But um, I'm, not, I'm not here to play around with this anymore or just to do this as only a hobby. Um, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm not here to do that anymore. I'm here to really make this and buckle down and make this into a, a content, um, machine for everybody else out there watching, um, and a way for all of us to be more successful at this than just, um, just our individual channel. Um, and that's, that's really important to me that it's not just about our individual channel. And that's why I don't want anybody that joins the network to go off and, and I really hate what this person said in their live day. Great. Keep it between you and that person. You don't put it on people's chat. You don't put it on their they're on your live stream you don't put it on videos because that only hurts all of us it doesn't help anybody um so that's the thing and if you're if you're gonna get a spot on the schedule you need to make sure that spot's filled so if you can't make it that day that's fine but you need to make sure somebody can um somebody can fill in for you so that there isn't a lapse in content, right? We don't want a lapse to happen. If people want to watch us all day, we want to have stuff going all day for them on the network. If they only want to watch for a couple hours, then they then only watch for a couple hours. What I'd also like to do with this, um, since a lot of us have the ability to, on lives to play videos, uh, is maybe we can come up with some sort of thing um, that you play uh, once a week or in a show or whatever that just talks about the network and all that kind of stuff. So um, just, just brainstorming ideas basically, but nothing set in stone as far as that goes. If you guys want to come up with ideas too, that's fine. That's what part of building this is all about. Um, I want to build this out with everybody and not just the few people who run all of it. I want everybody to be a part of this as we build it together. And then that way there's um, a groundwork that's laid down for anybody that new that's co that comes on and also for all of us to follow. Um, so, if you want to be part of that, email me. It's going across the bottom of the screen. I've already had some people email me. I already have a lot of people interested. So we'll, get, we'll be working on that and getting it set up. It's just going to be a process. I don't know how soon it will be officially set up as a MCN on YouTube because there's the steps that we got to go to, through, like I said, corporation, business plan, submitting it to YouTube, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So... That being said, I talked to my brother today, and I will be going out there August 3rd 
to start the minivan build. So in a, in a week, um, in a week, I will be starting the van build. So I'll probably be doing my live that morning here and then um, going out later. I put out one a little earlier today about it and um, I'm going to do another video later on. Um, once we get, once we get a little bit more figured out, once I get a, an actual place for us to go and sign up like a forum, um, and, and stuff like that, I will do another video, uh, to kind of explain it, but, um, that, that's the plan so far. Hey, construction cronies. Um, yep. Yep, for sure. If you guys, if you guys want to um, connect here with each other, if you don't know each other, feel free to do that. I'm fine, fine with all that. Um, but yeah, so that's when that's when the van build is going to start is in um, next Monday. Um, there's a couple more things I have to get. There are little odds and ends. I've got to get a different cable that will connect to the power unit that I'm getting from Lion Energy. Um, I've got to order that and a couple other things. And like I said, I need to get, going to get one of the Chromebooks here um, at some point, more than likely. I may be able to use the tablet, but I, I want to get a Chromebook because the mouse and I have my editing program that I can use on the Chromebook. It makes things a lot easier than trying to use because the tablet, I'm still using a finger. I have a keyboard or whatever. And a little Lori's cr crochet corner. Um, so, um, I found one for 250 on Amazon Computer Kick. Um, um, yeah, just let me know. Uh, send me an email with the sites. Um, it's basically going to be used to run the live because um, running the live here just off of the phone, it's hard on the chat and I can run two things, but I'd rather just run it on the one thing. I can keep the chat going up and down on a laptop just fine. It'll show a little bit more lines than this does. So, um, yeah. Uh, Thirteenth, man. So we're we're sitting here. Oh man, six days away, really. Because next Monday, this time next Monday, I'll be sitting there probably looking at it and figuring out how to tear it apart, or not tear it apart, but figure out um, how to fix stuff. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> the tablet, it's okay. But it's 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 too in between. Like it's easier to do a lot of things on my phone when I'm using my finger to move everything than it is on the tablet. But I like the tablet because I have the little keyboard with it now, so I can type on it. But it's still not the same as a laptop. And I I want to get something that's got at least like a 14 inch screen on it. So, um, yeah, Nightbot is doing well. I have him turned off of everything um, except for I've got him running the links so um that's all i'm using i bought for but other than that it's been working pretty good um and thank you for letting me know about that too by the way and uh that, that's the guy you want to go see his setup like if you want to see streaming arts like the first little step into streaming if you want to see all the kind of stuff um that you can do like with OBS and different systems. Um, Construction cronies here. He he has a setup that's uh, really like a pro setup. I mean, for lack of a better term, as a pro setup, he's got a little um, little device that he has that's called a VMix, and he can pop up different stuff on screen by pressing the buttons on it. Um, so 
eventually um, I would like to get into doing that kind of stuff. So eventually I'm going to run that kind of system. Eventually I'm going to get to doing that. Um, but that's more than likely going to happen when I get uh, to where I'm in the ambulance and I can have more power. I can get a better computer system to run the live stream part of the show, all that kind of stuff. Um, but that's down the road, but I watch his stuff and I, I just pick it up as I'm watching, you know? Um, yeah, exactly. I can't run, I can't run OBS and that kind of stuff on a phone, um, or on the tablet, you know? So eventually it's going to, I'm going to get a better system to do these live, to do these lives from and these live shows from, I really enjoy doing these a lot. Um, Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So VMix is a streaming software. Okay. And then Stream Deck. Okay. Yeah. So eventually I'm going to get there. But that's the thing is like, um, like the stuff that he uses costs a little bit more money. So until I start bringing in money on the channel, I don't want to put that much more into the channel yet. Um, I want to, most of my channel money especially these first few years is going to end up going right back out and advertising and building this network out that I want to build out and getting equipment for the channel. Um, so, you know, there is going back out as fast as it's coming in as far as for that goes. Um, I have, you know, I have the social security to take care of my living expenses for now. So those are taken care of by that. All this money coming in from this is going to go right back out and making it better. That sounds awesome. Why bull you're going to have fun taking your grandma to Florida for the first time. And she's never been there. Yeah. That's awesome that you're going to do that. Um, yeah. That's what, you know, um, yeah, you can run that on the phone. I don't. I, I don't like Streamlabs too much. I, I'd have to really go play with it on a computer. I don't like how it looked on the phone. But thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just trying to. Um, and that's the thing. Like my whole channel, everything that I do is over a phone. I've gotten to this point with everything over a phone. So, uh, if you really want to do something, you can do it. Um, oh, that's awesome to hear, Thomas Jordan. Yeah, construction crony deals. Uh, yeah, you guys probably have a lot that you can talk to, and awesome, epic. Um, you know, I appreciate you guys being here at all. Um, so I really want to create this multi content network to help all of us. Uh, the the way it works is you have you have a main network channel that your it'll still be that your channel that is run on it. It'll still be a link to your channel. It'll still show up as your video channel on the main network channel. Um, but let's say, um, let's say uh, channel A over here, okay, and we'll call this channel B, okay? Let's say channel A and channel B, maybe they know each other, maybe they don't, right? But they're on our network. And some of channel A's viewers may like what channel B does and vice versa, right? Well, on the network channel, it's going to play everybody on the network's content, right? So the people that know this person may find the network from their channel, and then that leads to everybody else, okay? Same way, same way back. Um, so... The network will be able to, once it gets big enough or whatever, to where the network channel can be monetized, right? That would basically be put into running itself. Um, so I want to get people that are administrators in there. Um, you know, get get an accountant there eventually. Get, um, uh, you know, a couple salespeople in there eventually to, to where they go out for our network and try to get people that want to be sponsors, right? 
instead of each one of us going out and sending an email to a company, right? We all, I've done it. I've gotten a couple, obviously, but instead of you, you going out and sending an email to individual companies, our network, once we get it going, once we get salespeople in there that can go and, and, and go talk to these companies to sell them ads um, or sell them on our network for them to buy ads on our network, I guess is how I should put it. Um, but that's, that's who would go take care of that, right? So instead of having, um, instead of having me email this company and that company and you're emailing me, right? Um, and doing all that, the extra stuff, right? That you learn as a YouTube channel, as you, as you keep going up in YouTube, you learn there's a lot more back end, um, back end uh, work. Who else is doing something like this? That's a good question, Burning Up the Roads. Look, you can go on Google and type in multi-content network, MCN for YouTube. You'll see a bunch of people, a bunch, uh, a few different networks. Um, and I know of one network that started, they sold their network to um, Disney for $500 million after so many years. Okay? I'm not saying I want to do that. I'm just saying that once you get the ball rolling, you don't know what's going to happen on this, but a lot of the bigger channels. So let's say, um, like I know nomadic fanatic is in one, um, cause I he heard him talk about it before, but other people are as well. So you'll be watching somebody's channel, right? And they'll say, this is brought to you by Surfshark, or this is brought to you by this. They're part of, and you usually see them all about the same time on a lot of different channels, right? So, um, when you see them on a bunch of those different channels at the same time, it's because they're part of a multi-content network. A multi-content network went out and said, hey, we have this many channels, this many views. Would you like to participate on the network? And they'll come back and say, Sure, I want to, but I want to put it on your network on channels that have this much exposure or this many views or stuff like that. Um, but that saves those bigger channels, right? And, and like I said, you've seen it there, those bigger channels, it saves them from having to go out and send the emails and contacting these people. You have salespeople that go out and do that. So, that's the whole purpose behind it. Instead of us doing it as creators, we get to the point where we have people that are good at doing stuff like that, like sales or doing the administration of stuff, right? And then as we get bigger, we can offer perks. Hello, Paul Honeyman, before I get going too far. We can offer perks, right? Like one of the ones that I looked up and, and contacted because one of the ways you can do it is become a sub network of one of the main networks but that would take even longer um when i really looked into it um because a lot of these guys are established and do not want to add any more sub networks so um anyway yeah i know drew likes to buy stuff my ice cream cake you guys are. and johnny is there any congratulations on a thousand by the way um if you guys can Please go run her uh, uh, playlist um, and start getting her up there on her hours. Let's let's start getting her going now. Um, but it's a way for us to stay being just creators, especially those of us that don't have anybody else helping. Like me, I don't have anybody else helping. Some people have partners that help with part of it, right? Uh, or whatever else. I want this to. Um, I want this to take that part of it, the grueling part of it, the not fun part of Utah, or not Utah, YouTube, the non-fun part of YouTube. Um, I'll let you know that in one second. The non-fun part of YouTube, like 
the contacting of these companies and seeing if they want to get involved, the promotion of your channel. Um, and that's the thing, like we could offer perks after we big enough and we have the income coming out. Um, uh, the income coming out um, or the income coming in to the network, we can start doing things where we can offer people like Epidemic Sound. I saw a network that did that when I emailed them because they said, well, we're not really doing sub networks, but here's what you have to have in order to be it. And it was from where you're at, where we're at now, I mean, huge amount of views, huge amount of watch time per, per month to even qualify to apply to be in it, right? So I don't ever want ours necessarily to be that. I want ours to be based on the quality of the creator, the quality of the content, right? Is it interesting content? Now, if you don't think yours is interesting enough yet, and we don't think that you're interesting enough yet, that's fine too. That doesn't mean it's, it's a never. That means I want you to put work in and, and, and get your stuff there to where it's at. Like a lot of you guys are, you know? Um, yeah. Yep. Especially the first thousand. Um, yeah. Thank you, man. Um, and my hours, um, as of this morning, I was at 18 or not 18. Sorry. It's going, it's pretty going pretty quickly, actually 1684 as of this morning. So, um, yeah, yeah. And that's, see, it's people like Papa Drew. So you're already doing all that for your channel, right? Now, um, throw in contacting companies and trying to get sponsorships or trying to collaborate with these other channels, right? If we have a network where the network reaches out, maybe do a channel and says, Hey, would you like to collaborate with any of our creators that are on our network? Right. Um, that's the kind of stuff that I want to set up this network to be about, to be about, for lack of a better term, the bull crap. Right. Um, that, that we're not in front of the camera and all that kind of stuff. And that's what I'm saying. I want, um uh took you 22 months man oh that's crazy well i'm glad I'm, I'm i'm a little ahead of that schedule if i count the whole time that i've been doing youtube i might be at about 22 months by the time maybe not i might be at maybe about 17 18 um yeah and you can do everything with your phone um and if kelly wants to help uh let me put it back here um if kelly wants to help with that stuff um Awesome. Email me. I, I want to get our team together that can, and, and people that are willing to do that kind of stuff. Like um, I'm talking to Sherry at RV weekends to really help me get organized in the schedule that we're going to put out, get everybody set up with their time, all that kind of stuff. I ask our Epic RV adventure to help me set up a back end because we need a way for creators to log in see what's going on with the network, have a forum to talk to, all that kind of stuff. Um, so we're going to, I'm working on get, want to get that going as well. Um, Sherry and her husband have done business stuff before. So I'm going to have them hopefully help what we need to do to set up the corporation part of it um, and all this kind of stuff. And then, uh, and then after we do the corporation part, make sure we have contracts. So everybody understands that you're still in control of your channel. It would just be putting the content on the network channel as well. Um, and you, you know, we share the revenue off the network channel, all that kind of stuff. So I am starting or starting to get the beginning stages of doing a multi-content network, Papa Drew. Um, Yep. Yep. And so that's, that's part of it too. Um, I'm going to be putting money into it for my channel and you know, all that kind of stuff. So eventually, um, eventually we'll have it, but this right now is just getting all the channels that are interested in being in it and starting it running. Right. I want us to have a running prod, uh, product of, 
of basically our network of our, our schedule of the people that are on it and all that kind of stuff when we set up the corporation. Um, so we have that already set and the people that are in at the beginning before it's formed into a corporation, I want to make sure we, we figure out how to give you part ownership in it. So give you shares of it, right? Because I want you guys to be invested in it. Even if you didn't invest cash, if you're going to be here at the beginning and willing to follow all of it, right? I want you to be invested in it too, because if you're invested in it, you're going to work just as hard to make it successful as anybody else is. Um, you know what? It will have cake. Um, right now, I don't have a number of people that can be involved. And um, we're going to have to set a number, obviously, before it's a corporation because we're only going to be able to split a pie so many ways. Um, but after it's, after it's launched, there is no limit, right? So what we would have happen is if we got to the point where we filled a whole schedule of content up on one network, we would then create a sub network, right? So we'd have our main network and we would have a sub network and that sub network would work just like the network. Um, uh, and that would, that would feed into the main network. They would cross promote, right? But the sub network would then come in and basically I'm drawing it out here without showing you guys. So the sub network is here and although it's under the main network, it would be under its own, own brand, right? So we get enough for 24 hours of a schedule. Awesome. More people want to come in. Awesome. We start a sub network. Um, we don't have to go through the corporation process and all that kind of stuff again. We just get enough channels together and we started as a sub network. Um, and on van life mode, thank you. That's awesome. So we get big enough. We could even split it back down to where it's, um, Oh, that's awesome to hear. I mean, so we're going to find out about the beard. You said it was no. So maybe it's yes. Um, who's picking people to join. Okay. So, um, I'm going to get a group of us together. Um, like I said, our Epic RV Adventures in there right now. Sherry RV Weekend's in there. Kelly, if she wants to be part of it. We're going to get a group of people together here. If you want to be part of the people um, that help decide, I want you to jump in on this. And we're going to come. I want to do it democratically. So I want people to vote on whether they get out of the network, right? Do you think it's quality enough for our network? Um, and that's the main criteria. I don't want to go off of numbers. I want to go off of whether you guys think it should be added or not, right? Um, so you're you're controlling your content, um, and you're controlling the content that will go up onto the network, right? So, if you want a live stream that's not on the schedule to go up as content, like a video later, if you want a, or videos later to go up as content, you would choose that as the creator, right? Um, and the network would then, it will play, you know, we'll probably have some sort of loop on the network that when people aren't live, it will play a playlist uh, people's videos or something to that extent, right? Um, so that's that's how that will work, right? The only rules I have for people where it's going to be kicking you um, like where, where it's like something that is too egregious for the for the network, right? Um, mm 
Right. Right. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So there, there's nothing set in, but what I want to do is I want to have, I want to have the schedule on there and basically everybody, if you want to be on that schedule, if you want to be on the on air schedule for the network, um, I want you to respect everybody else that's on that schedule on the on air network. Right. And, um, we're not going to go live over the people that are on the on air network when we do it. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna go stick to that as far as live goes. Um, yep. Yep. So if you don't want your live to be on there, that's fine too. Um, Yep, and that's and that's part of setting this all up, burning up the roads. So that's what I'm saying. This is we're we're talking about this and coming up with it um, now. Um, but that's uh, it, it's going to be all written down, and that's part of coming up with the corporation, part of coming up with with the rules and all that kind of stuff. So this is all. This is all in the brainstorming area. This is all in the talking area. But yeah, stuff like that's going to be in writing. Um, and then as the network grows, when it gets to the point where it can sustain itself, and what I mean by that is once the network is able to take in advertising revenue from YouTube, I want that revenue then to get put into the network paying people, like people, sales people to go out and find us ads and um, administrators and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then after that, we'll split the revenue, right? To everybody that's in the network, um, that comes off of the main network channel, all your revenue off of your channels, still yours. You're still in control of your channel. It's just, a, it's kind of like the hashtag that I had, but it's a controlled thing where only the people that can go in it. And then that's the thing where, um, um, not quite yet. I'm working on getting that together. Um, I don't have a team of the creators yet. Um, and I'm working on getting the decision makers together, but basically people that are going to be decision makers, I already know for sure are ones that are already offered to help do, um, to do work. Um, whether it's promotion work, whether it's helping me build out the back end helping me do the business stuff, helping me set up the schedule. Those people are going to be part of it because they're already willing to do um, work um, to put to put into this business. So I feel like they should have a um, say in, in who comes in. And like I said, it's not a, it's not a category of you have to have this many subscribers. You have to have this many views. Um, um, Here's the thing with that, Ivies. If they have a day and time right now, I'm not trying to move people's day and time, right? Um, the, the schedule is just starting to get made now. So, and that's part of the reason I'm re that I want to remake the schedule is because other people had already had lives that they were doing for a long time, time and I want to get other people in here that's not just RVers, that are homesteaders, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm not trying to change anybody's lives that they have right now. I'm trying to aggregate all the channels that would like to be involved together first. Then we'll see if there's conflicts with live. And if you want to be involved or whatever, and we'll see about figuring it out. But right now, there's not going to be a conflict with them keeping the time that they have right um we're just putting it together so if they're interested in it i'm interested in having them we're just putting this together um and then as we grow you know as as the network grows we're gonna we're gonna have to make adjustments to the schedule um so Right now, when there's not going to be that many people on it, 
you'll probably see me a lot. You'll probably see other people a lot. Um, but what I'd like to do eventually is, um, once we really have it going for prime time slots, um, I like everybody and prime time here in the United States. So I want to go from about 4 p.m. Pacific because I'm going to do things on Pacific time because it's easy for me. But from about 4 p.m. Pacific till about 10 p.m. Pacific, um, what I would like to do is have people, if, if you want to have a show on the schedule, to try to only have one. Um, after we start to get to the point where people are coming in and want to get added, right? Then um, everybody basically have one show during prime time um, during the week. That's kind of what I would like to do. So um, um, Tuesday's fine. Um, what I would like to do um, what I would like to do is to, to get times only because um, only because it allows people to come in from the other channel and raid your channel and you start off with a good audience. Um, so that's that's how that's the reason why I want it scheduled. And hey, Art of Our Being, I saw you come in here. What's up, man? And um, Northwood RV Life, hello to you as well. I'm trying to get you guys coming in. So, um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, no. And, and that's the thing is I'm not going to make you stay in the network. And, but basically, so yeah, what it is, is I have to go through and get set up a corporation, um, and, uh, you know, business plan, all that kind of stuff. I have to get a good number of channels that would like to be part of this to sign up and be part of it. And then it would be the network channel. But how it works is when you would go live, you're still going live from your channel. It's just also broadcast onto the network channel, but it still shows as your channel. Um, but then that way, if people just want to subscribe to the network, they can subscribe to the network and find everybody that's on the network. Um, and it's a way for us to advertise. Like we could put the money right back into advertising the network, which helps everybody. Um, so not only live streams, it's going to be content too. Um, so eventually, um, eventually I would like it to be, where we have one network that's live streams 24 hours and we could even do a, a, a sub network that's content, right? So that would play a playlist of everybody's videos, like one video per person or whatever for that day. And it'll be playing on a playlist. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not about the amount of subscribers. It's about the content, right? So your interviews, That'd be great to put on there. Um, and that's the thing is like, if you, if you want to go live on your channel, right. At a different time and then have that come as content under the sub under a sub network one day, or right now just as content on there. Um, we can put it on as content. But what I'm saying is, is in that when you, if you want to get on the live, schedule itself on the network itself i want <clears throat> it's going to be so that it only you only have that spot that's broadcast on the network right so it will be your channel will have the time to broadcast to the network so it's a channel that's in charge of other channels if that makes sense um not in charge of as far as telling you what to do but it's like a feeder channel to all of our channels. It's it's one point of entry for sponsors, for people that view YouTube, 
And I can tell you right now, like Social Blade is a multi-content network. So if you use Social Blade, they're also a multi-content network. Um, All Things Comedy, if you want to look them up, they... Um, Um, and I'll address that in just a second. Um, uh, how oh darn, I forgot, but anyway, um, yeah, like how to edit and this and stuff like that. So, I want that to be part of what we offer as a cut networker. Um, I, I am not going to be withholding anything other, it's just like any other business, the the cost of the network, like if we hire people and all that kind of stuff, that that's going to be paid first. And then the rest gets split between, between everybody. So I'm not withholding it other than to run it. And you'll still get, you'll still get the views off of your channel. You'll still get the ad revenue off of your channel. None of that comes to me. Um, none of that comes to me at all. So I, and I don't want part of that. Um, I just, um, nope, no. The ad money for your videos goes to your channel. The only ad revenue that would go for your videos is, um, I got to figure out the exact thing, but if there's something on the network, that would go to the network to pay the network's bills, whether it's the website, um, um, people that we hire to run stuff for us, that kind of stuff. And then the rest is, is given out. I'm not going to have it to where it keeps. Yeah. Kind of like a co-op. There you go. Exactly. It's not to profit me. I want to have it pay the expenses. And then after the expenses are paid, it all goes out to us. Um, so that's, that's how, um, that's how that's going to work. Yeah. And that's the thing. If you want to set up a second channel that's just for that, um, that's all. Yeah, you can talk about your live show. Yeah, um, go ahead. And that and that's the thing is like what I, what I mean is I don't want people and hello Trip and Tracy. I just don't want you disparaging other people that would be on the network with things that they may do on their live stream or at videos or anything like that that you may not agree with, I don't want you to bring that out in the public. I don't want you to go commenting on their videos or in their live streams or anything like that. I want you to... Um, I want you to um, keep it behind the scenes, right? If you have a problem with somebody, I want you to keep it behind the scenes. So, um, what genres am I thinking? We're not going to have just a limited genre. So I want as many people as we can to come in. Um, I don't care if you're a game streamer, whatever you are. Um, I want to get enough people. And then if we get enough people, we'll, we'll separate it into sub networks to where if we can have 24 hours of games, of people that stream games, cool. That will become a network that just does the game streaming and and or van people or rv um yes um so the adsense for your personal video that goes on the ne network you anybody that views it on your channel you're gonna get credit for the um or the super chats or whatever that's all yours um the only the only AdSense it's going to take is anybody that advertises on the channel as a whole. So everybody's videos that are on there, right? If the network gets AdSense on it, it's going to be split to everybody. So you're going to have some people on there that have thousands of subscribers. You're going to have some people on there that don't have that many subscribers. But the revenue from the network that is over the cost of running it is going to be split out to everybody. So. Um, yeah, it's going to be on YouTube. It's called a multi-content network is what it's called. Um, 
yeah um so the co-op channel that and that's how it would work like you would still have your videos the only th whatever you would submit to the network right that you want to be on the network that's when the network would have adsense from running it on the network of uh, that video and then that adsense goes to, to running the network if you don't want to this is actually better than most other people than most of the other content networks i've they'll give you a little bit um yeah i can't wait to see what's going to happen on tuesday um yeah and you ask all the questions you want you know so it's going to be on youtube but it's if you look and that's why i try to tell you guys that i want the network part of it and why i'm thinking 24 hours live stream you guys can still have your videos you can still all do all that stuff that you want um oh and thank you strong's adventures thank you for subscribing um i'm talking about creating a multi-content network is what i'm talking about zx24 so um it's up to you if you want to join it but like i said it's just it's just another way for your channel to get out there um and it's not about me making profit off of it. It's about a way for us to have a business, right? A business that runs the part of going out and getting sponsors for us that want to make this a business, right? Um, to getting sponsors for that. Um, for people that have inquiries, right? Maybe we get an in-house accountant and people that are part of the network, you then have somebody to go talk to about how to do taxes for your channel. Stuff like that. I want it to be that kind of thing. So that's really what I want it, um, want it to be about. Um, and you don't have to join it. You don't have to be part of it. You don't have to be part of it at all. I'm I'm opening it up for you guys to be part of it if you want to. And the way Johnny's put it was about the best I could I could I could say is is a co-op for all of us, right? So way for us to get advice from a lawyer or from an accountant or from whoever, um, and have that be part of it. So um that that's what it is. Um, you don't want to be part of it. You don't have to be part of it. Um, but I'm I'm going to be putting in to this new adventure. So um, hit me up. We'll we'll get it set up. Um, hopefully in September we'll have a, a schedule out. So I want people to get time and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, guys. Um, there's a bunch of other lives going on right now. Uh, Juliet Miranda's one, Bourbon Soaked Live. That's a good place to go. And then Jaylena Darcel. Um, she just popped up with a live. And uh, that's the other half of Crockers for a while. If you want to go check them out, um, go do. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. I've got Evergreen Homestead tomorrow morning. Um, but the benefits, and I'll stay here and talk with you guys more. If you'd like, I just want to let you know there are other lives that popped up going on right now. So, um, yeah. So it would be for advisors, sponsors, and channel growth. And the channel growth would come from the network being able to advertise the network. And then people can find your channel through there or advertise your channel on the network, you know, as being part of it. Maybe come up with a little commercial for your channel. Hey, I'm live or hey, I have videos come out. Stuff like that. Um, hey, Ardez, it's all right. So um, you're all right, Ardez. I'm just talking about it. Um, perfect. Um, yeah, and Rally Creative travels on too. Um, so yeah, I I would I'd love to talk with her. I want to have you guys on board. Like I said, if you guys are already on board with this. And you want to be part of it? Cool. Email me, um, and we'll we'll figure something out. 
um, for sure. But yeah, all good on an even kill. All good. Um, so it's a multi content network. You don't have to be part of it. I'm not going to make you be part of it long term. I wouldn't make you sign a contract for years at a time. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is, is put down on paper what's part of the what's part of the uh, network, what's part not out of it, and um, that you know I won't. I'm not going to copyright your stuff that would be on the network neither is anybody else's so it's nothing like that where i'm going to copyright it it's just a way for us to um build ourselves out so <laughs> oh that's nice iris that's nice um yeah i i'm probably gonna roll out of here now for not not too much longer but anybody that's coming in here if you want to know what i was talking about that's what i was talking about and uh, for those that are in here later, August 3rd, so next Monday, um, next Monday, yeah, but it's on Daily Unis channel too, so um, next Monday, I want to, um, or not want to, next Monday is when I'm going to start the minivan build, so that's when I'm going out there, I talked to my brother today, and that's the date I'm going out there to start it, so I will be starting it on that day, so. Anyway, guys, um, I'm going to go over here to Jaylena Darcel. Um, if you, or you can type in Jaylena Crocker if you guys want to go over there. It'll probably be a good crowd. Um, I'm going to go over there and say hello, um, at least for a little while, then probably hit everybody else because there's a lot of other people out right now. But I'm going to be doing a morning and an afternoon session. So the morning session will still be interviews. And we'll talk about this more this every afternoon with you guys, the content network and just other stuff or connecting with other people. So in the afternoons, um, I'll be I'll be doing that for you guys and hanging out and, and the evening and stuff like that. Because like I said, we're just starting um, starting out. So, yeah, yeah. Do a raid. Go over and see what you want. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stop waiting for life to happen and make life happen. Later, guys.